What it do, gang? All right, so right now what I'm doing is I'm actually just going to lay out a quick little outline of the Darkness LS swap. So it's the LY6 6.0 coming from the 2012 HD van, 6L90E training, and which is tear down. I'm going to be labeling parts, cleaning the parts, and bagging. This is a quick little snapshot, showed y'all a preview of it, but you can see I got all the accessories. I got all the wiring harness, uh, the pedal, map sensor, everything I'm going to need for the swap. It's a straight pull out. Here, what I'm doing is, oh, and give you the heads up, everything is going to be sped up because it's a long, long, long um, video, but I went ahead and condensed it to 15 minutes. Either way, what I'm doing is I'm taking out all the coils and I'm labeling and bagging them, coils and uh, wires, as you can see. And this is my first time breaking down one of these blocks, so it took me about maybe maybe total three hours, but it should take you no more than about maybe an hour and a half. But you can see I'm making sure to, to label and bag everything. Here what I did was I'm just taking out a spark plug and I just want to check the, uh, the condition of the spark plug. And it looked pretty good. Now I'm taking off the exhaust headers. It's a 13 millimeter going through, removing all the bolts. And uh, I'm not going to use these headers. I'll probably get some off of eBay, but it's 6.0. Now note that those are 823 heads. Here I'm taking off the, uh, the PVC valve, I think. Now just to give you all the heads up, there's going to be a few things that I'm just going to say straight up I don't know. If you know, do me a favor and leave a comment below. But a lot of the sensors, I'm not even going to try to explain what they are because I'm just not sure. Here I'm just going through and uh, pretty much just trying to, all those wires that's on the back side of the transmission, I'm just trying to get them off of the, uh, the wire holders. Because I'm trying to remove the, uh, I'm trying to remove the wire harness first, but you're going to see I'm going to go back and forth because if I get caught up on something, I'm just going to take it off. Now here what I'm doing is I'm going directly to the uh, intake. Uh, and what I'm doing is I'm just removing these eight millimeter bolts. Uh, it's not difficult to remove, but you remove those eight millimeter bolts and then those, uh, fuel injector, uh, harness, and it comes straight off. You're going to see that in just a little bit. And more than likely, I'm going to keep this, uh, intake if I can, uh, get it to clear the, the, the uh, the hood. Right now I'm just labeling the map sensor. And those are the injectors. I think I'm going to zoom in for you on how to actually take off those injectors. Come on. Zoom in. Had to figure it out first. There you go. See, we just pull that clip up and it comes straight off. What sensor was that? I just know it's on the valve. I might have just said the, uh, the valley valley sensor but I'm not sure what that sensor is then that little black wire that was the uh, the ground we'll make sure to put that back on the grounded block you can see here that valley sensor again I don't know the exact name of it but it sits right under there under the intake but you can see where you just push that clip up and it just comes straight off Here what I'm doing is I'm just, again, this is the, the wires at the back of the transmission, but I do know that wire that I'm about to uh, attack right now. That wire is like the main wire harness that goes to the transmission. And so I'm going to zoom in on that as well and show you how to take that off. As you can see, you just pull that little clip out turn it counterclockwise and it comes straight out. Uh, throttle position sensor, just labeling that, removing it, simple harness, just 
I really want this whole thing to come off at the same time. I'm trying to keep everything together until I learn more about it. So uh, remember we went ahead and removed these eight bolts. So let's see if we can just take it off. I don't see anything holding it. So. I'm just going to come back here and get a picture of the starter. So uh, this here goes into here and it just clicks like that. This right here, uh, what is that for? What did I know? But anyway, then you got this one right here that goes and see where that connects at right there. So um, I see everybody taking off the starter. So I'm going to go ahead and take off the starter and then um, I'm going to take off that plug. And uh, oh, this could be that, was it the cam shaft position sensor? I don't know. Anyway. After that, I should be able to just take it straight off. All right, what I'm doing here is I'm just removing the uh, the harness holding bracket, and you can see it's behind the uh, the oil cooler lines. Again, I'm just figuring it out as I go on, so that's why you can see I'm going. From, you know, I might be working on one thing, and I might jump back to the harness. Which figuring out as I go on. Okay, I don't even know. No, no, I think I remember. That goes that goes over there by the it's a harness that goes on the top of the uh where the timing chain is. But it's at the bottom of it. I think in the next part you're gonna see how I went ahead and uh, removed that 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 harness that goes to the sensor. All right, so this here we're gonna go ahead and just you see this. This is next to the starter. I don't think we're gonna move the starter today. I think we need to. But uh, this right here, I'm going to go ahead and take this off. And I'm going to actually put the bolt back inside. I'm going to put the bolt. So I'll take this here, remove this. Uh, then I'm going to go to the other side. And I'm going to see what's going to be holding it up. Uh. Now, it wasn't a lot of good videos on how to remove these fans. Um, so, and I, I, I didn't, I'm not going to use this fan. Um, so what I did was I just went ahead and uh, took one of these um, hammers and I just uh, went to town on it. It maybe took about, maybe about five, ten minutes. And um, it came straight off. No real problems. Again, I'm not worried about it, but I'm sure there's a better way how to remove it. I'm sure there's a, uh, maybe a fan clutch too. All right, so now I believe what I'm going to start doing is working on removing the belts. So you just take that belt tensioner and uh, go ahead and depress so you can get the belt off. And then from there, oh, I guess I jumped over to the uh, uh, to the AC. <clears throat> I didn't see how you could just put the AC, how you could remove the AC belt. I, I didn't quite understand that. So I just went ahead and removed the entire AC. Now, give you a heads up, I'm not going to work on AC right now, uh, and I have to have like a new bracket, finish air. I'm not sure, so I'm not even going to touch that right now. So that's going to stay off. I'm not even going to put that bracket back on in the AC. Here, I start to tackle the, uh, the alternator. Now, I'm not sure, but that does seem pretty high. I got I to gotta double check, but... I'm hoping that that AC can clear, excuse me, the alternator can clear the hood. I'm hoping the intake, the um, air intake can clear the hood and also the alternator. I'm hoping. So to the far right, lower left, excuse me, far right, lower, that's the uh, power steering pump. We just went ahead and removed all of that. I thought I had that in the video. Maybe I'll come back to that. Maybe I don't. Here's where I'm just taking off the uh, transmission shifter. Uh, 
Ah, you know what, y'all? That's my bad. Um, I did not show me taking off the rest of those accessories. My bad. And that's that harness where I started from the bottom and I came up. And it goes to something in the time of chain. Again, I'm not sure the name of that sensor. But I did take off, it was the water pump and the idler. Um, and I believe those was all 10 millimeters. This is where I'm actually attacking the starter that came out pretty clean, drained the fluid. And now I'm going to the, uh, to the oil, uh, oil cooler lines. Darkness budget LS swap. So the way I got this budget laid out is I have asterisks by every single thing I've already paid for. Down here is what I'm anticipating paying for, but I have an idea. Down here, I'm not sure we're going to make it up as we go on, but we have to keep this cost down. Now, for me personally, because of this price, yeah, that price right there, I'm trying to keep this under six stacks. Um, now, I'm pretty sure your budget will be a lot lower because you won't be starting off with this. But this came out of 2012 van HD um, heavy duty, non DOD displacement on demand. Somebody do me a favor. Comment below. Why does it matter not to have displacement on demand? I don't even want to jack it up. So anyway, um, <clears throat> with this uh, engine and transmission, it's a straight pull out. It came with all the accessories. It's got a six month warranty. That's why it probably costs a little more than what y'all typically pay for it. Um, Harbor Freight Engine Leveler, 20% off. You know what time it is with the coupons, $30. Harbor Freight Engine uh, Crane, 170 Now, for this epoxy base coat, clear coat that I plan on doing and cleaning supplies, I already got it, so I'm not counting that in a cost for me. Now, I do have to pay for this oil pan, which is the Holly 302, because darkness, she does sit very low. I mean, she sits... She sits probably about just a few inches off the ground, um, you know, when she has the 14 zone. So and I'm definitely rocking the rally uh, 14s um, engine mount adapters, about 80 bucks. Exhaust headers, 200. But the total exhaust can probably be about 400. Not sure about plumbing, not sure about the radiator and fan. I haven't really seen a getaway get around for this. Haven't really seen much of a get around for this and I got more time than money so I'm going to be doing the, the wire harness. The dude I bought it from is going to be able to get it tuned for 100 bucks um, and I believe that's to delete the cat and all that good stuff. Now the LY6 from my understanding I really need to give y'all better specs but from my understanding is stock no tune none of that good stuff is supposed to create uh, 363 horsepower and it's up there, 300 and something odd foot pounds of torque as well. So I'm I'm actually going to be happy with this. I'm actually going to be happy with the amount of horsepower and torque. Um, I'm not taking darkness to the track. I ain't taking dark to any of those places. So um, I'm going to be happy with it. I'm more focused on the efficiency. Yeah, and be able to get out, but more on the efficiency. So anyway, I want to make sure to always break down the cost to y'all. This video is getting long. So that's it.